In this video, we'll discuss about the energy sheet of respiration or respiratory balance sheet. The energy sheet of respiration. So, what exactly is energy sheet of respiration? Uh, this is actually where we calculate the number of ATPs which are being formed in the processes of uh, glycolysis, uh, decarboxylation of pyruvic acid and the Krebs cycle. So, here if we draw a table, first we will talk about glycolysis or glycolysis and next we have oxidative decarboxylation lastly we have Krebs cycle so we will calculate the number of ATPs and also the number of NADH2 or FADH2 NADH2 or FADH2 These are the steps that we are going to talk about glycolysis or glycolysis oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvic acid and Krebs cycle Now glycolysis in this process of uh, glycolysis here, the number of ATPs which are being formed are 2. 2 ATPs which are being formed in glycolysis process. NADH2 or FADH2, here there are 2 NADH2 we are being formed. There are no FADH2 synthesized. So, 2 NADH2. If you have to calculate the 2, if you have to tell 2 NADH2 in the format of ATPs, we know that each NADH2 is worth 3 ATPs. So 2 times 3 is 6. So 6 ATPs. So 6 ATPs plus 2 that is 8 ATPs are formed in the process of glycolysis. Uh, lastly we will write here the total number of uh, ATPs which are being formed in each step. Next, we have oxidative decarboxylation. So, this is the uh, oxy decarboxylation of pyruvic acid. Here, there are no ATPs which are being formed. So, no ATP. NADH2 or FADH2, there are two NADH2 which are formed here. Two NADH2 formed and this again gives us six ATPs. We have Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle here, the, how many ATPs are formed? 2 ATPs. 2 ATPs are formed here. NADH2 or FADH2? Here, 3 NADH2 are formed. So, 3 3 NADH2 are formed. And 1 FADH2. So there are both NADH2 and FADH2 which are formed here. 3 NADH2. So each NADH2 is worth 3 ATPs. 3 times 3 is 6. And sorry 3 times 3 is 9. And we told that the Krebs cycle occurs 2 times. Because first we have um, glucose which converts into Two pyruvic acid, but if you take only in one side, only one pyruvic acid which is being formed. That the same thing happens on the other side as well. So that's why at the end we end up with two pyruvic acid. So two Krebs cycles. We have to whenever we talk about the Krebs cycle, these Krebs cycles are happening two times. So they're happening twice in the process of aerobic respiration. So here we usually say six times three. Or uh, for our simplicity, we can write 3 times, so 3 NADH2. Each NADH2 is worth 3 ATPs. 
3 times 3 is 9 and this 9 we have to we have to double 9 that is 18 at the end 18 ATPs are formed here also the same thing in decarboxylation of pyruvic acid 2 NADH2 are not being formed only 1 NADH2 is formed when we saw the whole process of Krebs cycle so we have uh, glucose turning into 2 pyruvic acid that is glycolysis and then 2 pyruvic acid or pyruvic acid turning into acetyl coenzyme A which is the oxidative decarboxylation here also there is just one NADH2 which is formed but this is happening twice we should rem remember that in the whole process of aerobic respiration these uh, processes like Krebs cycle decarboxylation these are happening twice so that's why we told 2 NADH2 which is what 6 ATP 1 FADH2 each FADH2 is worth 2 ATPs and 2 times 1 is 2 so 2 times 1 is 2 and we need to double these 2 ATPs which finally gives us 4 ATPs so this is how we need to calculate the number of ATPs which are formed by NADH2 or FADH2 see these are the only these calculations are ATPs itself in the form of ATP but these are in the form of NADH2 and FADH2 and we are just trying to tell that 1 NADH2 is equal to 3 ATPs so it's worth 3 ATPs and 1 FADH2 is worth 2 ATPs so total we will calculate the total of this whole uh, processes in the first one so we can maybe it like this here total is 6 plus 2 that is 8 ATPs. Second, oxidative decarboxylation. We have no ATP, so zero plus six, which is six ATPs. And then lastly, we have Krebs cycle, which is in total we have twenty-four ATPs. So um, 24 ATPs. How did we get 24 ATPs? 18 plus 4, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 plus 2, 24 ATPs. If we total this, we get 8 plus 6 plus 24, we get 38 ATPs at the end. Now it is very important to understand that in these 38 ATPs, 2 ATPs are actually getting used to pump 2 NADH2 synthesized during glycolysis. So, these 2 NADH2 which are pumped during the process of glycolysis. So, here uh, 2 of the ATPs which are formed in these 38 ATPs are actually used up to pump the 2 NADH2 which are formed during glycolysis. This is also a very important thing that we need to know. Now we will talk about shuttle systems. Now what uh, is the relation between uh, ATPs and the, the pumping and the shuttle systems? Well, when NADH2, so these NADH2, when they are pumped into the mitochondria, then there are two shuttle systems which work. So there is one uh, shuttle system called glycerol phosphate shuttle system and then we have malic aspirate shuttle system. So we will talk about that in detail now. Now we'll discuss about shuttle systems. So, 
we told that there are to pump this NADH2, these two shuttle systems they work. The first one we told that was glycerol phosphate shuttle system. Glycerol phosphate shuttle system. And then we we'll learn about the malate aspirate. system now glycerol phosphate shuttle system what happens here there is the cell this is the cell membrane and then there is the mitochondrial membrane and this is the cytoplasm This is the mitochondrial membrane and this is the cell membrane. Here what happens? 2 NADH2 These 2 NADH2 are split into 2 NAD 2 NAD and a pair of protons and a pair of protons. These pair of protons are actively pumped into the mitochondrial membrane. Now what do we mean by actively pumped in? Actively pumped in means that they are pumped in with the help of ATP. There is ATP which is used here. So actively in so the two uh, the pair of protons now they are in the mitochondria when these pair of protons combine with FAD it finally gives us FADH2 FADH2 the FADH2 is worth is worth two ATPs. It is worth two ATPs. So this is what happens in glycerol phosphate shuttle system. Now let's talk about malate aspirate shuttle system and we'll see the differences between two of these. Here also there is the uh, same thing happens. There is uh, there is cell membrane and there is mitochondrial membrane. We have cytoplasm. And we have same 2 NADH2. It is split into 2 NAD and a pair of protons. The pair of protons is now again actively pumped in ATP again now this is the difference the pair of proton when it combines with NAD rather than FAD so here FAD pair of protons is combining with FAD here if the pair of protons combine with NAD it forms NADH2 which is worth 3 ATPs. So it is worth 3 ATPs. Now, the differences between glycerol phosphate shuttle system and malate aspirate shuttle system is in glycerol phosphate shuttle system, 2 ATPs are being produced, that is FADH2. In malate aspirate shuttle system, 3 ATPs are being produced. That means malate aspirate sh shuttle system is the most effective type of shuttle system. So it is, this one is very effective. This one is also okay, but as compared to malate aspirate sh 
uh, shutdown system this is less effective it only produces two atps in case of mallet as per external system it produces three atps so these are the shutdown systems which are uh, seen so we can write here shutdown system is effective so uh, in today's video we talked about the energy sheet of respiration where we learned about the number of atps which are produced by the processes of glycolysis oxidative decarboxylation and the krebs cycle so in glycolysis eight atps are produced in uh, decarboxylation oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvic acid there six atps are produced and in krebs cycle 24 atps are produced in total 38 atps are produced but in 38 atps two atps get used up to pump two nadh2 synthesized during the process of glycolysis and then we learned about these two shuttle systems glycerol glycerol um, phosphate shuttle system and we also learned about the malate aspirate shuttle system which is more effective and efficient than glycerol phosphate sh shuttle system so in this video we discussed about energy sheet of respiration and the two uh, different uh, types of shuttle systems which are there